showing you the true taste of Korea. In Korean food, we visited Changdeokde, the Korean restaurant that only uses best ingredients and natural seasonings. We'll show you the deep taste of Korea. Dishes that enhance the taste of delicious food. We'll see some of them in Look and Taste. Looking for something different? Today in World Food, we invite you to a world of fantastic taste. Why don't you immerse yourself in some new taste presented by the fusion restaurant Asura. Hello everyone, I'm Jamie Yi of Cuisine Korea. There's a saying, don't forget to brush your teeth, but don't brush them too hard. It's referring to the fact that half the pleasures of life lies in eating. But we're not just talking about the taste of the food but food that are high in nutrition and that's good for the body. Cuisine Korea. Today we'll venture off on a journey of delicious taste for a better health. Changdeokde, the Korean restaurant serving healthy food, is located at Gwanakguk. In order to get to the restaurant, you must get off at Seoul University Station of Subway Line Number 2 and come out through exit number 4. You will immediately see SK Gas Station. Then turn left at the gas station and right across the street you'll see Changdeokde. Korea's fermented foods have been recognized around the world. And here you can taste their true essence through foods like bean paste, red pepper paste and so on. The interior with wooden finishing provides a warm atmosphere. When you enter, large jars placed around the restaurant catch the eye. Also, roasted sweet potatoes, which are one of the most popular street foods during winter in Korea, are served for free of charge. The inside hall is where you can enjoy your meals in a comfortable and cozy atmosphere. The subtle colored tablecloths made of hemp makes this restaurant more traditionally Korean. Liquors using wild ingredients and fruits brewed directly at the restaurant are on full display, increasing the overall effect. Rooms suitable for different gatherings are also available, so for those who want to experience the taste of Korea properly, should take an interest in this restaurant. Especially some 500 jars contain the delicious secrets of Changdeokde. It's very interesting. What's on today's menu, we have the Toran stew, which you'll just have to wait and see how that turns out until later. And our second dish, the Sancha Bijimpa, which consists of 17 different types of vegetables. Thinking only about good health for 26 years, I introduce you today's chef who will demonstrate the skills creating delicious taste using only natural seasonings. This is a brand new dish to me and I can't wait to see how it turns out. Raw ripe toros together with perilla powder, fried salt, white bean powder, shrimp powder and on and on. Natural and nutritious seasonings are all ready. In order to boil the taros, we need to prepare kelp water first. Dried kelp, mushrooms cut into suitable sizes and anchovies are added to boiling water. Onion and turnip are cleaned, cut and added. They will create a refreshing taste. Spring onion, together with its roots, is added to bring out best nutritional values. When everything is added, the ingredients are boiled for about an hour to make kelp water. When it has boiled sufficiently, take out the ingredients just leaving the soup. When kelp water is ready, shall we start boiling our star ingredient, the taros? Skin the taros and place in boiling water. Add fried salt and boil about 30 minutes. 
here, the salt will get rid of toxic elements remaining in taros and their slippery surface. Now, the salt used in Changdeokte contains different organic minerals because it's prepared at the restaurant by thoroughly washing and frying natural salt. Boiled taros and taro stems that have been cleaned beforehand are placed in kelp water. Grated perilla seeds and white bean powder are also added. They are the key ingredients for creating that savory and roasty taste. Shrimp powder is added instead of artificial seasoning. Next, tofu cut into suitable sizes and dry shiitake mushrooms are added one after the other. Fried salt is added to give a salty taste and when the whole thing comes to a boil, chopped spring onion is added. Finally, grated mushroom stems are added and boiled once more. Do you remember that we added some white bean powder? Well, it needs to be boiled sufficiently to remove any unpleasant smell of beans. I think this is enough to bring out the proper taste of Tara stew. We'll now put the stew in a bowl and I'll tell you how it tastes a little later. Lettuce, eggplant, spinach, and so forth. A fantastic union of 17 vegetables with natural ingredients. Shall we start making this sanche bibimbap? First, for the lettuce, mushrooms and apricot enzyme are added and the lettuce is to relieve the bitter taste of this special vegetable. Here, red pepper paste, perilla seeds, grated turnip, and grated garlic are added to season the lettuce. Next, add chopped spring onion and vinegar. Now just mix everything thoroughly for the seasoning to seep through and the seasoned lettuce is ready. The boiled chard is seasoned with salt and mixed well with tofu and porridge made with five cereals. The porridge will give a smooth and soft taste. Sesame oil is added to give roasty taste together with shredded red pepper. Mix everything with hands and place in a dish. Now to prepare shiitake mushrooms. Add perilla powder and shiitake mushrooms to kelp water and fry everything. Season with fried salt and bring out the taste with shrimp powder. Finally, add chopped spring onion and fry. Turn off the fire before the green color of the spring onion disappear. Then place in a dish. This time, we're going to prepare brackens, which are never left out in making mixed rice. Season kelp water with soy sauce. Add pre-boiled brackens and fry. Add shrimp powder and fry some more. Create a roasty taste with sesame oil. Add sesame seeds and chopped spring onions and fry once more. In this way, 17 different vegetables are either seasoned and mixed or fried. Brown rice cooked with five different cereals are laced with perilla oil. Then season char, shiitake mushrooms, squash, eggplant, bellflower roots, spinach, and taro stems and so on. 17 different vegetables are placed on top. Here, crushed dried laver and red pepper paste are added and served to the customers. Looking at the effort put into preparing seasoned vegetables, it's easy to see why this is the most popular menu here. Straightened by the chef's unique philosophy on health, Changdeokde's menu are now famous as health dishes. Especially by reducing saltiness, the greatest weakness of Korean meals, and enhancing the smooth taste, they are being enjoyed more than ever. The restaurant's customers are diverse, ranging from young lovers to families, the aged, and even vegetarian Buddhist monks. I guess it just goes to show that natural tastes and health dishes that can be enjoyed by different generations and people are introduced here. 도미도를 안 넣어서 그런지 아주 모든 음식이 깔끔하고 맛이 이렇게 거부감이 없어요. 특히 이제 좋은 거는 장 같은 걸 직접 어, 담가서 바로 시켜서 만든 거니까 믿고 먹을 수 있고 더 속적인 맛이 나고. 한 항아리 
그 속에서 나오는 음식은 정말 그 요즘에 그 상술로 하지 않고 뭐랄까 음, 순박하고 정직함이 들어있는 것 같은 느낌이 들어서 더 좋아요. 전통적이고 편안하면서 고급스럽고 집에서 먹는 것 같아서 좋아요. I'm eager to try the dishes we made today, so let me taste them right now. Okay, for my first dish. Taro is known for its ability to stimulate the appetite. Being full of carbohydrates, taro stew will be enough to serve as a full meal. This dish has a very soothing taste. Mm, it's very gentle, savory, and it even has a roasty taste to it. Now for my second dish, the sanche bibimbap. You're supposed to mix everything together like this. Get the rice and the vegetables all mixed together. Bibimbap is the Korean word for rice that is mixed before eating. Mm. You'll definitely be able to taste the difference between the sanchan bibimbap and the regular bibimbap. Mm, the variety of the mixed vegetables and the rice is very, very delicious. Changdokde creating dishes using wild vegetables which are most nutritious, fragrant, and tasty than ordinary vegetables. I'll introduce you other nutritious dishes that are also available here. Grilled todok famous for its bitter taste and crispy texture. This Korean dish is made by seasoning minced beef which are then made shaped into round flat patties and grilled. The taste and fragrance of patties are enhanced with squash and crown daisies. It's served with red pepper paste rice cakes. Brown rice used for this dish is full of fiber and vitamins. And bean paste stew made a little spicy by adding some red pepper paste. At Changdokde, you can always enjoy tasty and nutritious dishes made with natural ingredients from the mountains and fields of Korea together with the chef's special touch. The pleasures of seeing and the pleasures of tasting. It's now time for Look and Taste. We have another great segment lined up for your enjoyment. So without any further ado, let's see what's in store for you. Looks good, tastes good. A place where pleasures of cooking become even more special. We're at the Room and Deco's Apujong, where you can find different dishes in all shapes and sizes. On different floors of the showroom, Room and Deco's diverse products from kitchen utensils to everyday goods are on display. And the most eye-catching items are, of course, the pretty dishes. From its launching, the company had been popular for its clean-cut and simple image. 전반적으로 그냥 내추럴하고 심플한 어떤 색감이나 디자인들이 패션뿐만 아니라 주방에까지도 그냥 트렌드적으로 그냥 유행이 됐었는데 올 겨울에는 어떤 초콜릿 계열의 색감이 굉장히 주방 용품들의 강세를 띠고 있어요. 그래서 뭐 초콜릿 계열의 어떤 머그컵, 커피잔, 접시, 뭐 종지 이런 부분들이 상당히 지금 인기를 얻고 있고요. 식탁 상차림을 할때 이제 음 작은 향초를 하나 띄워도 굉장히 이제 겨울스러운 어떤 포근한 분위기를 식탁으로 옮겨올 수 있고 거실이나 아니면 식탁 그 곁에다가 하나 켜놓으면 마치 파티장을 내 집에 옮겨놓은 듯한 이런 기분을 만끽할 수 있는 그런 초들도 굉장히 지금 좋은 반응을 보이고 있어요. Did you hear that no matter how many pretty dishes you have, they are useless if you just store them in the cupboard? On the contrary, using them frequently will increase their value. A dinner with loved ones over a beautiful dinner table. Why don't you create a more enjoyable and cozy time through decorations that enhance your cooking? Fruits and vegetables are the freshest when they are in season. Some people say there is a best time for everything, and I think that it also applies to food and health. 
Good health can only be maintained when you are healthy, and food tastes the best when it has just been cooked. Right now, it is a good time for traveling, so shall we take off for roll food together? You can find the fusion restaurant Asura in Shincheon. Come out through exit number 2 at Shincheon subway station and go straight towards Yonsei University for about 5 minutes. There will be a building with TTL zone on the first floor. It is a triangular building and on the fifth floor, you will find Asura. Asura has a unique atmosphere starting from its entrance. Yonggi-sang-ho가 that the name Asura derived from the ancient Persian mythology. So all the design patterns used for the restaurant's interior have been taken from the images of Persian mythology. Thanks to the overall white, gray, and black color tones, even the elaborate designs do not seem overdone, but rather provide feelings of simplicity. The shallow aquarium, which looks like a living picture frame, also has the effect of separating space. It really contributes to creating the mysterious atmosphere unique to Asura. Thanks to being located on the fifth floor, the wide and open view is the pride of this restaurant. It is frequented at nights by couples who want to enjoy the night view. Since this area is known as Street for Youth, the restaurant has paid special care to bring out an active atmosphere while maintaining an overall clean-cut feeling. Now, shall we try out the taste of Asura? First class filet and best quality lobster from North America served with cream sauce. The pleasures of delicious chewy taste, the spicy octopus doria. Plenty of mushrooms. This mushroom spaghetti is enhanced with white sauce and Parmesan cheese. The fun of choosing between marinara sauce, cream cheese sauce, and sour cream. The combo sampler. The special salad served with fresh vegetables, tuna, orange, and lemon. The fun of sprinkling chili sauce over chicken breast and eating it with tortilla, even chicken rolls. Steak, pasta, Mexican food, and fried rice. Different dishes around the world have gathered here, and we invite you to a special feast by Asura, opening the way to the age of individuality. you with its diverse taste. Today's menu for Asura. They are pork color, butt steak, and bistro steak salad. Now come with me to meet today's chef. He is the main chef of Asura, dedicating himself to creating delicious and beautiful dishes. We are going to prepare a pork color butt steak, which is made by seasoning pork with sauce made of red pepper paste. We need the collar bud of pork together with red pepper paste and red pepper oil that are needed for seasoning. We are going to first prepare the seasoning to marinate the meat. Grated garlic is added to apple juice together with salt and black pepper. Mix everything carefully. The apple juice will make the meat more tender. Pimiento is chopped neatly and the same goes for the carrot. Onion is cut into thin slices and large spring onion is thinly chopped. The leaves of the cabbage are separated and soaked in cold water to prevent them from wilting. Tomato, large spring onion, and onion to be used for the salad dressing are chopped. 
Now everything is ready for the salad. It's time to grill the marinated meat. Place it in a grid and turn front and back as it cooks to make it more appetizing. Red pepper paste sauce is made by mixing red pepper paste and oil. Grated garlic, Worcester sauce, and starch syrup are added one after the other to create a sweet and spicy taste. Lace the cooked meat with seasoning sauce and cook further in the oven for about 3 minutes and everything is ready. Lace the frying pan with olive oil, add seasoning and the vegetables that have been chopped earlier, and fry. When the colors of the vegetables become more distinct, it means they have been fried sufficiently. All we have to do now is prepare the dressing to be served with the cabbage. Add olive oil, salt, black pepper, and vinegar to the chopped tomato, large spring onion, and onion. Mix everything thoroughly. Place the finished dressing prettily over the cabbage, and pork collar butt steak is complete. Next, we are going to make bistro steak salad seasoned with a sauce made with soy sauce. Together with the seasoning from the sauce, we need beef tenderloin and lots of fresh vegetables such as cabbage, dill, and lettuce to make the salad. Large spring onion and cucumber are chopped into thin pieces and soaked in cold water. This way, they won't wilt and will preserve their freshness. Spring onion, sesame leaves, and ginger, which will be used for seasoning the meat, are finely chopped. Cabbage leaves are separated and soaked in cold water. It is placed together with the dill and lettuce, which will be used for the salad. The sauce is made by mixing soy sauce, Worcester sauce, rice vinegar, and Chinese liquor. Here, chopped spring onion, sesame leaves, and ginger are added. Peanut powder is added also to create a roasty taste. Beef tenderloin is seasoned with salt and pepper and cooked rare over the grid. When the meat has cooked, it is dipped in ice cold water to make it easier to cut. It is cut prettily into mouthful sizes, not too small and not too large. The meat is put into the sauce to season. Place the vegetables in a salad bowl and place the seasoned beef. Place spring onion and cucumber that have been soaked in water as garnish and bistro steak salad is complete. It really looks appetizing. The moment we have all been waiting for. It's time to taste the dishes. I am going to try the pork collar butt steak first. The meat is tender but chewy at the same time. The spicy red pepper paste goes very well with pork. Now, the bistro steak salad. The seasoning sauce made with soy sauce has created a subtle but unique taste. The rich meat seasoning seems to bring out the taste of the vegetables also. I think it's not only me who is having a good time here at Asura. The customers seem to be enjoying themselves, so shall we find out what they have to say? When a tree is healthy, it blossoms beautiful flowers and delicious fruits. I think it is the same for people. When our bodies are healthy, we can lead a beautiful life like pretty flowers and ripe fruits. Cuisine Korea, a journey into delicious taste. This is all for today, and I will be back next time with more delicious stories.